Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel which is apexsalesforcetutorials.com and today we are gonna discuss some of the interview questions for beginners and experienced on our very popular topic which is lightning web components or LLPC so let's start with it and please like, give, share and subscribe our YouTube channel to your fellow mates. Our very first question is uh, what are lightning web components? and how do they differ from Aura components. The answer for this is the Lightning Web components are the building blocks of Salesforce Lightning experience, allowing developers to create user interfaces and applications using modern web standards like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They run on the client side within a single page, enabling faster and more responsive user experiences. Now, how LWC differs from Aura components, they differ in several ways. By structure, LWC has a simpler and more modular structure compared to other components, making it easier for developers to understand and maintain code. Second is development ex experience. LWC follows a component-based uh, architecture similar to modern JavaScript frameworks like React and Angular, offering a more intuitive and effective development experience. Third one is performance. RWC aligns closely with web standards and offers best performance optimizations, resulting in faster rendering and improved overall application performance. Our second question is uh, what are the two types of custom settings in Salesforce and how do they differ? In answer is in Salesforce there are two types of custom settings, list and hierarchy. Now list custom settings are that uh, they provide a reusable set of static data that is accessible across the organization. They are ideal for storing configuration data or reference data that does not change frequently. Hierarchy custom settings are uh, that uh, they allow for personalized settings based on hierarchical logic such as profiles or users. They provide a way to define different uh, settings for different profiles or users within the same organization. A third question is how does Lightning Data Service improve performance in Lightning Web Components? Nowadays, Lightning Data Service is also being asked in the interview question, so this is one good question for it. The answer for it is Lightning Data Service or LDS is a powerful mechanism in Lightning Web Components that improves performance by reducing server round trips and enhancing UI consistency. It achieves this by by a first managed record approach, LDS uh, refetches records from the server, stores them in a client cache, and it shares them between components. This reduces the need for redundant server requests and improves data accessibility. Second point is progressive loading. LDS allows developers to specify which of fields to load, minimizing the data transfer between the server and client, and improving overall performance. Automatic updates uh, also, LDS automatically detects changes to Salesforce data in invalidates uh, cache entries, ensuring that uh, components always display up-to-date information without manual inf intervention. The fourth question is, what are some best practices for data retrieval in Lightning Web Components? Answer is, to optimize data retrieval in Lightning Web Component, developers should follow these best practices, which are first, use Lightning Data Service or LDS. Whenever possible, leverage LDS to fetch data from Salesforce as it provides automatic caching and data management capabilities. Second, minimize server round trips uh, which uh, limit the feeds and rows of result sets, implement pagination for large data sets and lazy load occasionally access data to reduce server round trips. Third one is pass data between components instead of retrieving the same data in different components. Consider passing data between components comp between components using attributes, events, or methods to avoid the redundant server calls. Fourth one is optimize query performance by only select the fields you need, set the limits on queries, and avoid unnecessary server calls from for data filtering or uh, sorting that can be done on client side. The fifth question is. Explain the concept of lazy instantiation in Lightning Web Components. Lazy instantiation in, uh, is a performance uh, optimization technique in Lightning Web Components that involves uh, deferring the creation and rendering of uh, components until they are needed. 
This helps improve initial page load times and reduces unnecessary resource consumption. Now, examples of lazy instantiation techniques are that uh, include uh, dynamic component visibility. Components are hidden by default and only loaded when triggered by user interactions or specific uh, conditions. Second is conditional rendering. Components are rendered conditionally based on certain criteria such as uh, whether they are true or false directives or uh, CSS based visibility toggling. Third one is uh, lazy loading. Components are loaded asynchronously or on demand or on demand uh, allowing critical content to load first and delaying non-essential content until later. Our next question is how can you optimize the rendering of list in Lightning Web Components? To optimize list rendering in Lightning Web Components, we should consider the following best practices. We should use for each or iterator, utilize for each or iterator directives to iterate over list data and render list items efficiently. Second is key attribute. Ensure that each list has a unique key attribute to optimize DOM re-renders and improve performance. Uh, so third one is pagination or virtualization. Implement pagination or virtualization techniques to handle large data sets and prevent performance degradation due to rendering excessive list items. Fourth one is limit list size. Avoid uh, supporting an infinite number of list items and provide mechanism for paginations or filtering to uh, improve user experience and performance. Now, our next question is when should you consider using base lightning components in your lightning web components? Base lightning components should be considered whenever you need to build user interfaces or functionality that aligns with Salesforce design system and best practices. These components offer several benefits which includes a native styling, out-of-the-box functionality, uh, performance optimization and future con compatibility. What is native styling? Base Lightning components come with a built-in uh, styling that adheres to Salesforce uh, Lightning Design System SLDS, ensuring consistency and familiarity for users. By out-of-the-box functionality, we mean Base Lightning components provide pre-built functionality for common UI elements and interactions, reducing development time and effort. Performance optimization is a base by base lightning components are optimized for performance and accessibility, ensuring fast and responsive user experiences. By future compatibility, base lightning components are actively maintained and updated by Salesforce, making them a reliable choice for building scalable and future proof applications. Our eighth question is what are some considerations when using third party? JavaScript libraries and style sheets in Lightning Web Components. When incorporating third-party JavaScript libraries and style sheets into Lightning Web Components, it's essential to consider the following few points. First one is performance impact. Evaluate the performance impact of third-party libraries and style sheets on your application as you may introduce additional dependencies and uh, overhead. Second part is UI consistency. Ensure that uh, third-party UI elements align with Salesforce Lightning Design System or SLDS to maintain a consistent uh, user experience across your application. Third is customization op options. Explore customization options uh, provided by third-party libraries and style sheets to meet your specific requirements while minimizing conflicts with existing Salesforce functionality. Fourth point is minification and optimization. Use minified versions of libraries and style sheets to reduce file sizes and improve loading times, optimizing overall application performance. Our next question, how can you min minimize reflows and improve performance in Lightning Web Components? The answer is to minimize reflows and improve performance in Lightning Web Components, consider the following strategies. First is lock DOM dimensions, set explicit dimensions that is width and height for DOM elements to prevent reflows caused by dynamic content loading. Second, conditional rendering. Use conditional rendering techniques like if true false directives to defer rendering of non-essential components until they are needed. Third is optimize image loading. Specify image dimensions and use appropriate image formats like WebP to minimize reflows caused by image loading. Fourth is reduce DOM manipulation. Minimize the DOM manipulation operations, uh, for example, appending or removing elements. 
to avoid triggering unnecessary reflows and optimize rendering performance. Our next question is what are some best practices for event handling in Lightning Web Components? Best practices for event handling in Lightning Web Components include first minimize event handlers, avoid attaching excessive event handlers to DOM elements as they can impact the performance and readability instead of we should use event delegation or centralized event handling logic wherever possible. Second, understand event propagation. Familiarize yourself with the different phases of event propagation that is capture target and bubble and use event.stop propagation function and event.prevent default function judiciously to control event flow. Third one is use lightning message service. Leverage lightning message service for inter-component communication especially in some scenarios where components are not directly related or tightly coupled. Fourth, manage event listeners. Pro properly manage event listeners to prevent memory leaks and ensure that event subscriptions are removed when components are destroyed or no longer needed. Alright guys, that was a wrap for today and I hope you uh, understood all the concepts and uh, what type of uh, interview questions would be asked for LWCs for beginners and experience. Thank you for watching and please like, comment, share and subscribe. Also please provide your valuable feedback and you can comment down any of your favorite topics on which you want further interview questions and thank you so much.